Hello, and welcome to my presentation. Um, in this presentation, I want to run you through my past practice, my present practice, some um, case studies of, of artists and people that inspire me, uh, and a future outline of where I want to be. Um, I want to talk about how my old projects are quite process-led, um, and I did a lot of screen printing and letterpress and things like that. Um, all with slight, you know, um, computational thinking elements to them. The, the, the poster that you can see in the bottom right hand corner was connected to a website that um, would auto update if you had donated to a tree planting company and add a dot to the poster. Um, at least conceptually that was the idea, I didn't quite get to get it to fruition. Um, and the letterpress shape um, was a pattern project that I did that the pattern was determined by the size of the LEDs that you used um, um, and then I printed on the back side of the letters. Um, yeah, cool. Um, later on I started doing um, more coding uh, style work in my projects. This was a project that I did called Autominit, um, which was a supposed to be a machine that knitted pictures onto fabric, which um, almost, almost worked. It was very close. If I just um, created a better uh, stamping system, um, it would have, I think it would have, would have worked. Anyway, all this is to say that there was a shift into more coding and I had to start to um, learn learn more about um, how how to code and um, I talked to a lot of technicians and things like that um, to in order to create my work. Human Beings is another project that I worked on in second year that um, I used Touch Designer for. Um, it's again another thing, another process that I learnt. Um, something that I think is really impro important to my practice is to build up these this library of processes and and uh, techniques that I have, because um, I find often you know with a technique or a process comes a different way of thinking and looking at things, and um, just you know broadening my repertoire, I think, my, my knowledge, and being able to use um, certain parts of different techniques in others, um, I think, has really helped my process. I mentioned earlier that um, I would go to some uh, a lot of technicians to help me with some work in second year, and that's very true. And I I did, you know, I've got this little diagram here about how when I was doing the, those projects, it was very hard for me to just pick it up um, in one go. And I, I was watching tutorials and things like that and and um, copying code from people, but still not having the base understanding was quite a struggle for me. And going to these tutors and figuring out um, and sitting down with them and them mainly doing my work really didn't sit right with me. And there was like a disconnect between me and my work and so I thought you know um, CCI would be a great opportunity for me to experiment and learn and be able to create all of my own work or at least have an understanding of what um, a technician is doing um, and be able to learn um, how to progress yeah uh, here are some projects that I made for CCI there's um, um, my inflatable living project, which was a theoretical project about a bracelet that can um, detect impurities in the air, something that uh, me and a few friends are uh, probably still going to keep working on. Um, uh, I've got the Peter, the procrastination robot, which is the closest thing I have to other projects that I've worked on. In essentially, it's quite fleshed out and probably the one I've spent the most time on. Um, this is probably the one that has the most similar um, process to the other ones, except 
for the fact that I've made a short video that it lives inside, so the concept um, is slightly different. It was a mental health kind of project. Um, yeah. And now we're up to current projects. Uh, this is a shipping tracking project that I'm working on that I'm hoping will track cargo ships across um, parts of the sea. Uh, this is probably the project that I think I've made the most improvement on in my process, um, in a sense that all of the data that I'm getting is real time uh, and um, I, just that there is a lot of data that I'm getting for this project. The, which, the next thing I need to do is kind of interpret this data and then use it um, and extrapolate things from this data, which I'm still working on because I haven't quite uh, been able to access all the data yet. Um, this slide is a little nod to some side projects I've been working on. There's, uh, um, I'm very interested in jewellery and jewellery design. Um, and so on the left, you can see um, my jewellery and then jewellery that I've bought and then versions of my jewellery that I've created with um, 3D scanning. The concept behind this is similar to other parts of my projects where, you know, the medium dictates the outcome. This is like that idea in, at its essence, um, as I don't really do anything else to the object and the, 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 in the future, um, there are a few things I want to do. Um, there's something uh, Joel did had a lecture with us recently where he said that um, he never devotes more than 50% of his time to any one thing. Um, and I really like that idea. And this is why most of my uh, case studies um, have exact exactly this, you know, Joel is a lecturer. Um, he does lots of his own projects on the side. Um, a tutor, He at least he was a tutor at... Um, RCA. Agnes is a technician. She's also a part-time lecturer. She um, does research projects with her studio, Foreign Objects. Um, it's it's kind of this constant busyness um, and flexibility that these people have that I really want to channel um, uh, in, in the future in my um, working life. Um, my friend Alex Clark, I thought I'd put him in this list because the way he's tackled his creative uh, approach has really interested me. Um, he was a um, computer science um, student and he dropped out to pursue, pursue a career in creative art and lighting design and things like that and so um, yeah I, I I feel like he's quite an inspiration to me um, in the sense that he's he, he's doing what exactly what he wants to do, you know. And 3D Feety, um, an artist uh, and designer that I, I like for his um, uh, visual visual effects in his videos and his um, approach to creating digital content. And finally, I've got this little diagram for um, my future. Uh, things that I want to do in CC in, uh, towards the end of CCI, um, things for my uh, final year at graphic communication design, and then kind of a, a system that I want to put in place for my final, uh, for the future, um, which involves, you know, splitting my time between separate things, freelance projects, techni uh, technician work, maybe, um, passion projects, and documenting these things um, so that, uh, so that I can almost get this feedback loop of people wanting to work with me, people, um, giving me, um, projects to work with, and then, uh, yeah, that's, that's the hope. Um, working with Version Magazine for the air bracelets, hopefully, um, yeah, creating content, you know? <laughs> um yeah look to the future um thank you so much for watching um i hope you like this see you soon bye